Now let's talk about API keys. Generally, while you're building, you would like to use test credentials. This is so that you don't mess up any infrastructure they might already have in place and everything runs smoothly. That being said, some APIs are badly built and when you switch from the test environment to the production environment, some problems might occur. Though this isn't very common, it does happen and you need to be aware of it. Most of the time, the client is responsible for giving you any API keys that you might need. They might do that by giving you access to one of their accounts, by adding you to one of the services they're using, or by simply asking, where do I find my API key? If you're going to send passwords or API keys back and forth, do not do it by email or SMS. Instead, you wanna use a service like Dashlane or One Time Secret in order to send those credentials. For any services or credentials that already have nodes built where you need the client to log in, something like Google or OneDrive, you can hop on a quick call with the client and go over that and make sure everything is connected and in it in before you hand over the project. And for any other services that use things like the HTTP node, it is a good idea to leave an edit node at the beginning of the workflow to grab those API keys from. That way, if you have multiple HTTP nodes in the workflow calling the same service, all you have to do is change one API key and it works for all of them.